What's going on YouTube? Canadian Gold Saver here again with another video reminding you it's not what you make but how much you save. And guess what guys? Did I make a mistake in selling all my gold? Check out the prices from Silver Gold Bowl. $2,199.48 per ounce. I made a video about a week and a half ago entitled Saying Goodbye to My Gold. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. But basically, I sold some gold coins, and I don't know if I made the right decision. Guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And check out the video to the very end where I'm going to be talking about the $5 challenge that I'm going to throw out there, all right? So again, guys, Canadian Gold Saver here. Thanks for watching the video. Right here on the website, Silver Gold Bowl. Today, $2,199.48 is the spot price in canadian dollars and obviously you know these prices are just crazy who would have thought that fears would drive up the price this much and because i think it's just fear i don't know if these prices are sustainable check out my quarter ounce gold maple and i have my one tenth ounce maple a couple years back i bought quite a lot of these at reasonable prices but right now, with the gold spot being priced this high, I couldn't help but sell some of it. Uh, and I'm planning on selling uh, a couple more uh, that I have. But I really don't know because the price could drop where I could buy back in. Or the price could continue to skyrocket depending on how the investment markets are going. Where the people are going into uh, you know, safer havens uh, such as gold. I really don't know. One of the things that I'm really thinking about is my one gram pamp bar. I actually have three of these uh, and I really want to try and get rid of these because um, this is right when I very first started um, collecting gold and, and buying into gold. Uh, I got these at a very, very high price. One gram bars definitely don't recommend to anybody uh, simply because the premiums are involved in it. Might as well just save up a little bit and uh, get yourself a five gram bar or a one tenth ounce. So what I'm really thinking about is with these high prices, I can definitely make money back on these, even with the high premiums I paid for. Wait for it to drop back and use the funds that I got to get a five gram bar uh, or a ten gram bar. Again, like I said, the one tenth ounce. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think, what I should do. Um, you know, I, I'm getting really low on my fractional gold because I have sold them uh, to, like I said, to make some profits, uh, you know, put more money into uh, other investment accounts that I have. Uh, and in those times where the price does dip back down, yes, I will be buying back in, obviously. Uh, like I said before, you know, like wh what's the point in doing all this if you don't make profits and, uh, you know, have an end goal in mind to eventually, uh, you know, whether it's to save up for a house or, uh, go on a vacation with your family it's all these life experiences that you just want to do uh and, and investing wisely uh can make you get there a lot quicker so that's what uh, i'm trying to do and uh trying to inform everyone and uh instill that sort of habit of buying low and selling high and right now gold prices i think is really really high so uh the last thing that i wanted to get to is the five dollar challenge now uh, this is absolutely nothing new. Uh, I've seen a lot of videos already where people have um, had the $5 challenge. Um, and uh, I just wanted to throw it out there. We should probably do this too. Uh, I've actually had this tin can for quite some time already. Probably about a year or so. Um, and, and like I said, I've always had that saving mindset uh, where, you know, I wanted to, you know, just save up whatever spare change I could. I have a separate tin box for my spare change, which we'll, uh, you know, do that in another video. But right now, this is specifically the $5 challenge, uh, you know, $5 Canadian or $5 American or whatever equivalent you have. Um, you know, I, I definitely try and, uh, um, you know, challenge you guys to save up as much as possible. And, and, and what I'm saying is that, you know, you don't need to put in $5 every single day. Uh, one of my uh, strategies to help save money is to uh, use cash as much as possible. Uh, I, I do use my credit card, but I do pay it off right away, obviously, to collect those points. But when I do pay in cash, uh, I use a $10 bill or a $20 bill. And when I get the change back and it comes in a five, uh, when I come home, I put the five in the bank um you know whenever i possibly can so again it's not every single day so that's why even though i have uh you know 
I had this for over a year. Uh, it's definitely getting to the point where I can't put any more $5 bills anymore. Uh, like it, it really is, you know, stuck in there, but uh, I'll try and stuff this in there. Uh, but it's getting to the point where I can finally open the sucker and uh, see how much money is in there. Uh, so I'll probably do uh, that video in the next few weeks. So definitely, uh, you know, tune in to see that video. Uh, but again, uh, you know, I want to challenge everyone to go out to the dollar store, buy yourself a, a, a tin uh, bank like this, one that you can't open. Uh, you will need a can opener to open this. So it's going to be very, very exciting uh, to open this baby up. And um, yeah, just start saving. Um, you know, I, I'd love to uh, get your guys shout out videos uh, on this $5 challenge. Uh, and again, it's nothing new. A lot of people have done it. Uh, and I'm thinking of doing, a, you know, possibly a $10 um, video, a $10 challenge video uh, in the near future. But I want to see how the $5 one goes. Uh, but again, um, yeah, start her up. Uh, you know, whatever you can save up. Uh, and once I post my video, uh, you know, in a couple months time, hopefully you'll uh, remember this. Uh, and that way you can comment uh, and put in your link uh, down below on the comments of your $5 challenge video and see how much you've made uh, in, you know, whether, whether, whether you want to do one month, three months, six months or a year. Uh, but again, uh, this I've been doing for about a year. Uh, maybe you already have a bank uh, with uh, uh, some bills in there that you want to open up. And uh, yeah, let's share the experiences and build up some hype and, and excitement on uh, saving. Uh, when I open this thing up uh, in about a week's time, I will most likely, depending on how much money is in there, uh, I will put it in my uh, retirement uh, registered retirement savings plan, which is a savings plan that, uh, uh, that Canadians have um, to help uh, offset some of the income they have in the year. Uh, so I can probably do that uh, once March 3rd runs around, uh, rolls around uh, when it's the new uh, tax season. So uh, again, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. And I uh, hope to see you guys soon. $5 challenge. Here we go, guys. Canadian Gold Silver out.